don't care what team and you're from and what country you're from. New Zealand. That hockey man, that rocks the house, no doubt about it. And as we look at both teams getting ready to start, two teams that may have expected to play for gold now playing for the bronze. He's bent that pitch in over the top of the strike zone to be up in the count one and two. Comes back, same pitch, sits down in Oka, big start. Lifts this one up high, and it looks like shallow center, but running in and making the grab is Jeff Ellsworth. So they have to bring the best game if they're going to beat Canada here today. That's outside corner for a called strike. That was a thriller, no doubt, as that ball hit up the middle, so second pitch swinging, Matua. The one, two from Pettit, up the middle, hard hop, but there's Cole Evans, steps on the bag over to first, so. I like, oh, man. these guys are something else, I tell you, down goes Thomas. I tell you what, you can sing to me any day. You see, you are good, as down goes La Ulu actually struck out four of the five hitters he's seen. And Evans looking up the middle. Gobbled up on the short hop. Beautiful play. And outside pitch reaching out and skying it right to the glove of Joel Evans. Kind of spread around the wealth. That one is up the middle, but there is no middle with Cole Evans. Man, oh, man. It's very hard to do because you can't see first base when you make that throw. It's close as now it'll be Shane Bolin. Bolin up the middle. Evans, other side of the bag for the put out. So the kid gets one on the left side of the bag and then takes another step on the right and gets it over in plenty of time. How about I just take the whole infield? Cole How Evans. about Cole Evans playing by himself? Wow. But, you know, I'm not going to be wishy-washy, and I'm going to say. And oh. that is snagged barehanded by Patrick Burns. Man. I know there's a lot of lumberjacks in your country, but throw out the meat cleaver? Look, that'll do it. Look, let me take care of this And then one. looked at it like what? Was that his, his girlfriend couldn't come? Harbro with a good play, dive and play bowling. Not able to pull the trigger, though. Shane Bowling gets to this ball. Look at that. All spread out. No chance of making a throw, but to stop that? Wow. And that ball's driven out deep to the alley, and going back, not able to get it. Goes off the wall. Joel Evans rounding second, didn't break stride, and he's into third with a two-out triple. And a swing and a miss, so a big strikeout. And he's got a way of connecting with people, as that's a slow roll to the third. Gobbled up by Harborough in time. New Zealand hosting the junior Heck world. Of a pitch there from Josh Pettit. Turn that K around. Send, Ra send Ryan, Bo Ryan Bolin to the dugout. Games like Nostradamus or anything crazy as he lifts one up to right field. Foul territory. And Inoka and Macchia puts a charge in that one. And you can get out of this ballpark right now. Riley Macchia has opened the scoring with a lead-off home run, and it's 1-0 for the Black Sox. You see Nathan Nukunuku caught looking for the second time in this ballgame. From softball, as you see a ground ball, Mason does a good job to gobble that up on the high hop and get it over to first in time. So a pop-up by Wayne Laulu. They say it's not just the scenery as Matua works a leadoff walk. To be wiggling that bat over your head like that and still have enough bat speed to bring it around the zone to hit it hard. Off Harborough's glove, barehanded by Evans, over to first, in time! That kid is tearing it up over there in the sixth spot. Well, I don't know, we've seen a whole lot already in this game as Mason to Hopper, Joel Evans. Over to first. Malali a rope down the left field line. That's going to be extra bases. Matty Waugh is going to come in to score. He takes the first pitch, rips it down the line. That's why he's got four home runs already in the tournament. This guy can hit. And 
Missing down is Pettit. Two years ago, Ben Anoka suffered a knee injury. Down goes Shane Boland. The same vicinity is always a good thing as Burns bent that. Got to have Maddie at our back for sure. A well-executed bunt and a high throw, but credit for that and a swing and a miss. Came in on the hands with the riser. Try your best, you know. As that gets away and Cole Evans will make a turn at third. Somewhere there's a compliment buried deep inside there and a swing and a miss. Where you need it. And Bolin will take a hack and pop it up. Nuku Nuku calls off everyone and makes the catch with a runner aboard and one away. And he's first pitch swinging, flares out the other way. It's tailing away. Mackey has to run, makes a nice play, gets the ball in. 2-2, Two -two, it's bounced, but Ellsworth was on the move, and this time it was in the dirt, but it popped up. Pettit trying to work the top of the zone, instead surrenders a two-out walk. And a ball lined out to left field. Rounding third. And coming in to score is Jeff Ellsworth. Ball gets away. Waz going to take third on the play. And Ezekiel, with a breakout single, has given Canada a 2-1 lead. I don't see him flinch. I don't see him. He looks like the Josh Pettit I've seen for years. That's a good hit and scooped up by Harborough. Hit hard, but... That's all she wrote. Well, I'll be honest. And he skies this one up. Ellsworth converging. He makes the call and the grab as well. And I would expect them to go right back there. And they do. And it's a called strike three. To a walk. Boy, I, I'm sure it won't be the last year we see him involved in the game. That one goes off Boland's pads. 3-2, swing and a miss. So a big strikeout for Patrick Burns. And that one's a slow tapper. Hayes jumps all over it. Big throw in time to get Malali. Hayes goes to the outside corner and misses. In this contest, of course. Down goes Shane Boland. And that ball lifted up, and everyone's moving. Coming in to make the play, though, is Thomas Inoka. Listen, man, you know, you got to do what you got to do. One hopper, scooped by Bolin, sets the feet, and over in time. Setting up outside, and Evans may have gone around, and yes, he did. And a swing and a miss. So Patrick Burns mows him down and goes the distance.